Hello everyone and welcome to my first DIY, the shell chandelier. <laughs> I love the thing, it's so fascinating. First, you need a lamp. This one's from Ikea and it's called Help, but you can use an old lamp too. You just need a possibility to fix the sharp crystal chains and therefore I'm going to use this false basket lamp. Next is a drilling machine and some small boring heads. You also need some shells. You can buy them at the craft store or well, go to the beach. And lastly, an island thread and some shiny spare parts, basically crystals with holes in it. And now we can finally start. Take an old floor tile or something else to secure your table and drill two holes in every shell. This might take some time and you probably destroy some shells, like I did, but with some patience it works. Tell me in the comments below if you want to see a tutorial to this nail art design. Now take a nylon thread and you just have to knot it together with your crystals, which looks more complicated than it actually is, trust me. I decided to do different shell crystal chains to make it look even more sparkly and interesting. And this is how one chain looks like. So here are all of my 15 chains, make sure to get them all in the same length, otherwise it could look a bit weird. Next step. Measure the diameter of the circle at the bottom side of the lamp. Because this will be the first time you're using one of these geometrical math stuff outside school. Multiply the diameter of the circle by pi and you have the circumference. Divide this with the number of your crystal shell chain and you know the distance between the chains. Okay, let's go on with the fun part. Enough math for today. <laughs> Carefully knot the chains into your lamp. If there's no hole to connect, use the circle and next one. Cut off the axis and you're done. And this was just way too cool to cut off, I'm sorry. <laughs> of course you get to see some before and after pictures. And in case you were wondering where I was filming all the time, that's the answer. I totally love this beautified lamp, especially in the dark. And I hope you do so too. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't seen my previous videos yet, here's a chance to do so. Bye!